Hello guys, welcome back to Pause and welcome back to Planet Coaster and welcome back to Hysteria Valley. And now this is a park which we started work on last year and we haven't actually done anything with since about December. Um, as we left it, um, as we currently have got a nice entrance plaza area, a couple of rides, um, and that is pretty much where we stopped. So currently we have four rides, uh, a carousel, a wheel, a teacups, and the Weisshorn, or whatever it's called. Um, we have numerous um, food outlets. Uh, we have a gulpy, we have a burgers, uh, we have a coffee shop, we have, what else do we have down here? We've got some balloons and gifts, general store, which is not actually a working shop, but, you know, it might be at some point. Um, what else do we have? We have a toilet block, and... Uh, yeah, so with cheap beef and hot dogs. So we definitely made a good start. Uh, and also, we'll go through this little building here. No one saw anything. Uh, we also have this uh, Hysteria Munch food court in here. <clears throat> which is kind of your entrance to the park kind of uh, food situation. And over here we've got pizza, tacos, fries and chicken. And a nice big seating area. Uh, the other thing which we've got in this park is ATMs and a first aid room just over there. And we've also started work on, if I can zoom out, on our back of house uh, staff areas. So here is a little staff road, a staff room, um, and yeah, just general little storage areas and staff pathways where they can get to and from the park. So this is, for anyone who's new to this build, uh, my plan for this park is to make it uh, kind of like a family run business so theming wise things are going to be quite limited it's not going to be the scale of Disney um, but it will be quite nicely done um, I'm trying to make it look quite floral which is why there's quite a lot of planting around the park um, so expect a lot of plants and trees and just natural beauty so as you can see from the signs at the back of the park here a new adventure is coming soon and that is what we are going to get started on today so as this first section of the park is very much a big square everything is quite neat and lined let's break out of that pattern and let's start building off to one side and adding a bit of uh, terrain work and height difference to this park and that's exactly what we're going to do today so we're going to start work on an area over this side of the park um, which might link up back around here. I'm thinking maybe some kind of little bit of a water in the middle. Um, and that's the plan. So let's hop into a time lapse and let's uh, see what we can do to expand the Hysteria Valley.
Hey guys, so welcome back. So let's have a quick look through what we've done today. So we've made a start on a brand new area of the park, which is called Shanty Town. So we've made a entrance, um, entrance sign and a sort of entrance area just here, which leads straight from the existing path. So as you come up this way, it branches off just towards the right hand side. And already from this first little view, you can see that we've already got a little bit of height variation in this area. And that is the one thing I want to get in this part um, of the park. It's all pretty flat and squared off down this first entrance hub. And that is now exactly what we've called the first entrance area of the park, which is the hub. Uh, and there's this entrance sign here points you back into that direction. So the angle we're going for for Shantytown is kind of um, desert rocks, um, creosote bushes and odd little bits of green foliage and dead trees. That's the angle we're going for. Now this path down this way is going to lead off to another area and potentially a coaster down this way. Um, up this path, um, obviously there's still a lot of work to do, we need more fences around the edge and everything, um, but we head over to one of the new rides we've placed down in this area, which is the Sea Spin Adventure which is a whirly rig in the game. So that is down there. It's the first sort of kids ride in the area. And we've put some um, custom fences around and a little bit of scenery around the area, including a little bit of a mind your head kind of sign on the rock just there. Um, also made this entrance sign, which again is nice and custom. And as always, we've got our ride safety information board. Um, so that makes that area. Now the rest of the area we've marked out but not really done much to. So we've got this kind of entrance sign area here with the boat and the, um, what is it, like an oil rig. And we've put a few little creosote bushes, trees and rocks around this middle plaza central area. Uh, and then we're just making start over here on a kind of um, dock slash pier which is going to be where the pirate ship is located. Now I'm planning to put a bit of theming across here um, using some of the dock pieces so it makes it look like it's a little bit of a dock slash harbour. That's what's going to happen down there. Um, this pier is uh, going to ha maybe have one shop on it just here as part of this um, kind of dock area. Uh, I haven't got that far yet with my plans. We're going to put some nice custom railings along this bridge and then this will branch off here into another area of the park. So in terms of the actual shanty town itself, it's going to encompass this corner of the map. Like I say, there's going to be another kind of coaster or something along here. Um, and I might even put something else along this side. I haven't decided just yet. Um, this river is going to end up in the kind of cave area in here. So that will be all disguised in trees and rocks eventually. Um, and I might put something else on this water, maybe a boat or some kind of water ride, I don't know. Any ideas, let me know in the comments down below and what your suggestions are for the area. But generally speaking, that is my plan. So there's going to be a big ride over here, the first big ride of the park. Um, this will branch off into a further different themed area over this direction. Um, so what else can we do in Shantytown? Let me know. Obviously we need to build the actual town area <laughs> that will come around this bit uh, and around the coaster itself. So, let me know what you think down below, guys. If you've enjoyed this video, please give us a like down below. Uh, and if you've got any comments, questions, queries, or suggestions for anything in this park or anything else on the channel, please let us know by commenting down below as well. And if you haven't done so already, please subscribe to the channel. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you real soon for more from Pause Games, Planet Coaster, and Hysteria Valley. Cheers, guys. Bye.